It's the moment that took years of planning, problem solving and precision engineering. A section of wall from one of the UK's most hazardous nuclear buildings is pulled free after being cut out of the original structure. Daylight floods in onto nuclear waste untouched since the dawn of Britain's atomic weapons programme after the Second World War. This isn't just any hole, it opens the way for a hazard and risk reduction mission of national importance. The only way to retrieve the contents from this locked vault, where the atmosphere within contains a blanket of inert argon gas to prevent a fire ever happening, is through the hole we've just cut. We need to cut holes in the side of the silo because the silo was not designed for emptying. So we need to get into the silo to be able to retrieve the waste. The way we're going to do that is using a crane that we normally be used in dockyards that extends through the holes that we're cutting, uh, then releases a grabber down into the waste to retrieve, bring it back out and into a metal container so that we can take, a, take that away. We keep the waste safely inside uh, we, by using huge doors that we've manufactured um, that are in place and it can be lowered down uh, across the holes um, to contain the waste until we start retrievals in 2019. The backstory to installing the silo doors and hole cutting equipment is one UK PLC can be proud of. Design work was carried out in Sellafield's Darsbury offices near Warrington and all of the equipment was manufactured and tested up at the Rosyth Naval Shipyard near Edinburgh by engineering specialists. For four years we were working with Babcock Marine Technologies, uh, the replica of the silo up at Rosyth at the do their dockyard. There was, at the height of the manufacturing and testing, there was in excess of 100 people working on the project. The first piece of equipment that we manufactured was the door insulation frame. That was craned onto the retrievals platform uh, and that was used to hold the 13 ton doors while they were moved into position on the silo wall. It was really challenging making the doors, the 13 tons of steel, one of a kind, and to get them to seal was a challenge on its own. Safety has been absolutely key uh, in every step of the mission so far and will be going forward. The teams have worked hard at uh, changing the strategy simplifying the process so that we can get to early retrievals as soon as possible. Clearly there is a risk in cutting holes in the silo, but that's been considered carefully. You know, sometimes you need to increase the risk in the short term to be able to uh, de-risk in the long term. The learning that we've made from this project is it'll stand us in good stead for other projects on this site and around the world. This is a first of a kind, nothing like this has been done in the world before.